now we'll see how to create a customized database table in a web dictionary so here i have a requirement for creation of employee master and those are the number of fields which i want to create employee id the title first name last name date of joining department ctc and currency so i want to create a database table with those nine field the first one is mandate that is called a client field a client is nothing but we can say it is a partition inside the server and as per the company's requirement we can have multiple clients so we'll create a database table with nine field now for creation of database table go to t code sc11 now here enter the name so here for the customized table you have to follow some naming convention like all table must start with either z or y like in or you have seen the table as mara so mara is a sb standard table that can be started with any name excluding z or y the z or y are kept reserved for the customer tables so when you want to create a custom table enter at z let's say i'm giving the name as z emp underscore master click on create icon very first give us all description so let's say employee master assign a delivery class you can press f4 or click on this icon this will give the possible values which we can enter in the delivery class like the application table master or transaction data customizing table this we'll see in details so first select a data browser select display maintenance allowed click on the fields tab in the field tab we have to enter all the fields which we want to create so here i want to create the mandate employee id title so i will enter one by one first one is the client for client we'll be using the existing database data element that is with the same name mandate that is a client and this will be the key field second field i require as the employee id and the data type i require as character length is 10 so first here enter the field name as employee let's say underscore id and this is going to be my key field now here before going further click on save in real time we transport the object using request number but for practice i am saying as local object click on local object now here i want to create a data element now for creating data element again we have to follow the naming convention like first field must be z or y so i'm creating with same name just adding z it is starting press enter this is giving the message as z employee underscore id is not active so for creating a data element double click here click on yes data element z employee id is not available create a data element click on yes give the description as employee id press enter now as i shown in the overview session through data element we can assign the label to the fields so this employee id we have to assign in the field label the length for a short field is 10 medium 15 and long let's say 20 and enter the field level here what is the impact of of this we'll understand the later sections so as of now enter the field labels in the field level go back click on save again i'm saying as a local objects now here we have two options our requirement is 
we want to assign a data type of character and the length is 10. So either we can go with the predefined type and we can do the, the data type as here character and we can give the length here. Second option is we can go by creating a domain. When you are assigning a domain, we can give the power to this field. So let's create a domain for this. Here also we can use the same name for domain. No active domain Z employee available. So for creating a domain, double click here, click on yes, click yes. Again, give the short description as employee ID. Here, I will set the data type, press F4. I am going with the character type only. We can see the list of available data type based on due our requirement. We have to select the required type. I am selecting here where care and number of characters I want as 10. Click on save local objects. For my current requirement, only this data is sufficient for me. That is the data type, the number of characters. But along with this, at the domain level, we can also add many other things like whether we want to allow the lower case or upper case for this field. In the value range, we can assign the fixed value or we can have a value table. This means that whenever we use this domain in a field and if we have given any fixed value here that we'll see by creating title, so only that value will be assigned for that field. So at this moment, for this field, we don't require that. So for this domain, we require only data type and the length. Save and activate. This vacancy is active. So we will make this domain as active. Go back. Now activate the data element. Now the data element is active. Go back. Now you can see here the data element at the description is coming. So this way we have created one field with the data element and a domain. Like this we have to create the other field also. So next I will create a title with the character and type will be 8. Let's say title like Mr. Mrs. etc. And this will not be the key field because in every company the employee ID is a unique field. So let's create a custom field data element with Z title. It is not active. Again with the same concept, double click here, create data element. Yes, give the label as title, go to fill label, short length, medium and long length, here enter the label as title for all the fields, click on save as local object, now create a data domain. Okay, this title is already created, so I will create title 1, double click, yes, create a domain. Now here, this time, I am selecting cat, but I am giving the length as 8. Okay, now here, I will assign some possible values. Let's say for creating a title, I want to give a pop-up as Create with Mr. Mrs. Okay, I'm giving only two values here. Save. You can also give a description here with the same. Activate. So in the first domain, we're not given any values. But for same for second domain, we are giving some predefined values. Means if this domain is assigned to a field that can have either the Mr. or Mrs. Say 
add one more. Nice. Activate domain. Go back. Now here activate the data element. Now this is creation of second field. We done with title. Now I'll create the first name and the last name. So for this, let's say first name. I'm creating the domain as let's say this first name. Double click. Click on save. Create data element yes. Give the label as first name. Go to field label. Send the local object. Now here, I'm not going to create the domain. Instead of creating domain, I will use the predefined types. As I shown in the audio session, for a data table field, we can have a data element and a domain, and we can also have only data element with predefined types. So here, I will assign the data type as cap, and the length is 30, and activate. So we can see this also work. No need of creating domain. Now let's create the next one. That is the last name. With the same concept, I'll create the last name. Double click here. Click yes. That is the last name. Go to the label tab. Enter 10, 15, 20. And this is my last name, which is nothing but surname. Save. Save in the local objects. Go to data type. Select predefine. Data type as character and the length as 30. Save. Check and activate. Go back. So like this, we done with this field. Now we'll create a new field as DOJ. That is data of joining. Now here, every time it is not required to create a data element or domain. SAE provides thousands of predefined data element domains. We can search for the required one and we can assign the existing instead of creating the new one. So how to search the new one existing database field? Here I want a field for the data of joining. So what I will do, here I will press F4. And here I'm entering, give some description so that system can identify. I enter joining. There is a existing data element called cdate underscore inv, that is data of joining. So you can see there is an existing data element that is data of joining. So instead of creating new one every time, search for the existing available data types. This saves a lot of time. Every time we don't have to create the data element and domain. So we can also go with the predefined data element by SAP. Now, next are required as a department. So for department, I will be again creating a new table or new field. Let's say department and here I want to create let's say ZEMP department double click here press yes it's a department go to the label tab Again, give the length for the field. 
copy paste the same label here control s local object click on data type here i'm going to create again a new domain domain is not active to create a domain again double click here click yes give the domain name as department here again my requirement is of character and the length i want to give as 30 local objects activate so domain is activated and now activate the data element go back so in this way we have created the new field department now for next field i have ctc and the currency ctc is like the employer salary ctc for the ctc also i am going to use existing existing field of currency so we can search for amount field because ctc is the amount so we can see thousands of predefined types out there for the amount field so we can select any one amount field from the available list so i generally prefer for amount there is a field called dmbtr which is of line 13 and decimal 2 this is of character type data type currency currr now whenever you are using the currency or quantity field in a database table currency or quantity field we have to give the reference field here in this table that is a currency and quantity field because the ctc we have given the amount but the system should know of which currency, whether it is USD, whether it is INR, whether it is AD. For that, whenever there is an amount field, we have to give the currency field. If we have the quantity field, for quantity also, we have to give the reference of the unit of measure, whether that quantity is in liters, it is in numbers, like that. So here, for CTC is my amount, so I have to give a reference table and field. Before that, in the same table, I am creating one more field as currency. And for currency, again I am going to take the existing data element that is called WARS. So try to avoid creation of data element every time. Search for the existing one and use the existing data element domain. Now again, go back to currency field. Here, give the table name of the same table and the field name is currency. Save. The next is technical setting. Go to technical setting. Here, select your data class. Whether it is master data or transaction data, we'll go with master data. Select the size category, like how many records can be there. Let's say 2400. Log data changes. Save. And check. Go back. Then save. Check. No error. This is just an information message, a message, a warning message. Activate. Warning occurs, display yes. Great. So if there are error message that will come with a red background color. This is yellow, that is a warning message. We can leave this. Or if you want to avoid that also, go to extras, select the enhancement category. Here let's say uh, can be enhanced with character type or numeric type. Copy. Activate. Great. So now there is no error. So those are the eight steps for a creation of table and we have created with nine fields. In real time, there might be hundreds of fields you require in a table or there can be five to four fields in a database table. So this was the first time, so we created the data element for all the fields. 
So in this way, we have created a table. Now let's add some record in this field. So how to add a record? For that, go to utilities, table contents, and create entries. Let's say I'm entering my employee ID as PH1120. And as for title, we have assigned some values at the domain level. That's why we can see this search help option here. So you can see all the values here. Enter the first name. Enter the last name. Here I am not given any search help. It is not coming here. Let's say department, my IT, my date of joining, let's say 0101 2020. So it is we can enter, we can also enter the currency here. Save. So this I, I created the first record. Let me create one more record. Create entries, ph1121. Let's say title again, Mr. And enter the name as Vishesh. Let's say the again department is IT save. Now how to see the table contents? Click on contents, executes. Now you can see the two records which were created inside a table. Go back. So in this way, we have created our first database table with the nine fields. In next session, we will see more about the database tables. Thank you.